Every year, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg sets a new goal for himself. But unlike the previous years, Mr. Zuckerberg's resolution for 2018 is not purely personal. In fact, his goal for the new years is to make Facebook a better place by fixing issues that are plaguing the social network. Here is a report. Take a look. Sticking to tradition, Mark Zuckerberg has announced a new goal for himself for 2018. And his New Year resolution this time is not directly on the lines of self-improvement. In fact, Zuckerberg has vowed to give Facebook a more solid footing. Zuckerberg aims to focus on intense issues that have marred the reputation of the social network. And his list of targets include protecting the community from abuse and hate, defending against interference by nation states, and making sure that time spent on Facebook is time well spent. In 2017, Facebook received a lot of flack for spreading hate speeches and for failing to prevent the use of the social platform by Russia and other countries to disseminate propaganda. On various occasions, Facebook has come under fire for failing to crack down on sensitive issues like child pornography, extremism and cyberbullying. Ex-Facebook executives have publicly questioned whether using the social network leads to unhealthy behavior. Facebook has been trying to address such issues for months now, but there hasn't been any concrete result so far. But Zuckerberg now seems to be more aggressive than before in cracking down on online extremism and other unwarranted content. While Zuckerberg hasn't clearly said what he will do, but he goes on to say, My personal challenge for 2018 is to focus on fixing these important issues. We won't prevent all mistakes or abuse, but we currently make too many errors enforcing our policies and preventing misuse of our tools. If we are successful this year, then we'll end 2018 on a much better trajectory. It sounds promising and we would like to see how Zuckerberg addresses these long-standing issues while ensuring that Facebook is used in the best possible way. Bureau Report, we on. And we will see it uh, will be very difficult because, of course, the number of users and the number of messages exchanged every day and the number of posts published every day on Facebook uh, makes it a Herculean task to regulate, uh, for instance, uh, hate speech or, for instance, uh, uh, radical, uh, uh, especially, especially radical content. And uh, I'm joined in this story on the broadcast by a man who understands the technology very well, our technological correspondent, Anki Tuteja. Anki, thank you very much for joining us on the broadcast. So the first question that I have for you, is it actually a feasible goal? that uh, the CEO of uh, Facebook uh, gave to himself and to his employees. So Daniel, quite like every year Zuckerberg has kept a goal for himself. Like in the past we have seen him learning a new language, we have seen him uh, reading out uh, uh, a couple of books, we have seen him building a, an artificial intelligence system for his home. But this time the goal that he has set for himself involves Facebook. And uh, when you pursue a personal goal, it only involves you. Your, all your energies and efforts are directed at your uh, personal goal. But when you talk about uh, a goal uh, like this, that you want to fix Facebook, that you want to clamp down on uh, hate content on Facebook, it involves other parties and other people as well. So it becomes really difficult to actually crack down on such content because it's just not you. It's other people who are also putting up content on the website. So it's, uh, and for the same reason, the Facebook as well as the Zuckerberg both have been mocked uh, for setting such a goal. 